Okay, this is a bit of an unboxing. I have just bought a um, solar panel kit to go on the workshop roof. Uh, and this all this arrived uh, yesterday, so I'm not actually sure what's in here, but I'm assuming it's cables and um, brackets and stuff. So what have we got? Battery cables, which are in there. See them? Yep. I got two batteries arrived uh, the other day, so uh, two 12 volt, um, 100 amp hour ones. That feels like another cable. The connectors for the panels, sets of connectors. Feels like metal brackets. Looks like metal brackets. The only thing I think that hasn't arrived yet is are the um, panels. Well, <laughs> the panels themselves haven't arrived. I think I'd have noted. Yeah, bracket metal stuff and some nuts and bolts. Basically, I bought six panels. Two 12 volt batteries, uh, metal, more metally bits, metally bits, more metally bits, feels like cables. Yeah, they are a couple of cables. I bought a kit just to get going because I wasn't really sure what I needed, so I thought kit was the way to get going and then just expand it as I, as I want to. That more cables. Yeah more extension cables. So we've got those and those as extension cables. Joiners, I assume they join between screens. Uh, lots of metal bits, more of those joiners. Not sure what they are, what, which bits they'll be used for. They're so already making a mess. And charger controller. Now, I've seen um, there was a couple of YouTube videos with people who bought this, and they, they didn't say they were the you know the, the best chargers. So I think I'll upgrade this bit. But this is let's just get it working. So this is all eco-worthy off their website. I'll do a link. That's the, uh, so that's a 60 amp. I thought I was getting a 30 amp. So that's actually bigger than I was expecting. So that's good. Or maybe because I bought the six panels in the end, because I was going to get the, the three panel kit, four panel kit. So I, I uh, spent a lot more than I was planning. Um, so that's the larger kit. Uh, so that's what I've got so far. I will show you the batteries. Hold on a second. Okay, here's one of the uh, two batteries. These are compared with lead acid. Incredibly light. I don't know if you've ever tried to lift a 12 or 100 amp hour lead acid battery, but not good. <laughs> So eco-worthy ones again. These are LIFO PO4 series, so they are they're a lot more well they're actually if you buy them separately, I think they're about twice the price, but they've got um almost twice the, the, the life of them as well, so of a of a similar lead acid of. So that's, so I've got two of those. And these are, you can you can actually do what you want with these pretty much. You can put them on the side. I don't think you should put them upside down, but I think you probably can. Um, 12.0 volt, 100 amp hours. And I mean, yeah, you can, they're not, they're not massively light, but they're not like, uh, 
bunch and bash it down. It's probably not going to do it again. They're not like uh, <laughs> a lead acid one anyway. So these are, I don't know if there's any branding on there really. Well, it's just eco-worthy. It doesn't really say what they are. So two of those. Um, I'm waiting on the, as I say, the panels themselves, which I bought six of. Uh, and I'm going to put them on my workshop roof. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to put them flat on the roof, but I will be putting some um, um, mechanism to lift them up and get them to sort of, uh, during the day, point to the, not swing around, but at least, at least move up and down a bit so they'll follow the sun a little bit more. Uh, but that'll be a future project. Just want to get them um, up and running as soon as possible, really, because just in case uh, we have power cuts, which is always a possibility in the UK at the moment. Um, so that's that's my project at the moment. Everything else is on hold in the workshop. Uh, um, I am still doing my robots, still doing my R2-D2. Um, I just haven't done any videos on it, so uh, and my printer's broken, so <laughs> everything's everything needs fixing at the moment. But I thought I'd do a bit of this instead, a bit more fun. So uh, I will continue this video as I, as I build the system. This is mark one of the angle bracket, but I just thought this was too too bulky. That's why I went for the hinge in the end. So that was basically a hinge with unistrap, but it it lifted the panel up too high. By the time I've got that on, and then the panel, which is going to sit on its bracket as well, it's going to be about that high off the um, off the roof. So I just wanted to keep it really low, and this was bulky and didn't really make sense. So that's going to be. Um, I'm going to cut these down to length. Uh, so this will be the far end, so which will hold it up. So uh, I can adjust the angle, uh, which I'm trying for. I think it's 45 degrees I need to go for. I need to just double check that. But obviously I can change these to suit. This is my solar array um, fuse board. Just to show you, I've just wired this in. I'm gonna mount this on the uh, outside of the workshop in a minute. That's four mil cable. I've just brought it in from outside because it's easier to uh, wire it here rather than standing on top of a ladder. That goes into the breaker here. Earth fuse there. Uh, we've got sub diodes there. These are lightning arrestor, well, sorry, these are fuses i think there's a 12 amp yeah 12 amp Girl and volt fuses in there that's uh, a lightning arrestor or lightning um surge protector that's the breaker as i say so this will allow you to have up to six um um incoming feeds from your solar panels um i'm wiring mine in um as pairs so it's the coming in as 24 volts so I'm going to use four of these and I've, you can get a four or a six-way board um, I probably should have got the uh, four-way board for size actually because this is um, quite bigger than I was expecting but um, I was allowing for two for expansion if I ever put solar panels elsewhere so I probably should have just got the four-way because I probably never used the other two so that will allow me to bring in the pairs of um, uh, panels on the roof um, so this is now going to go just get an idea of the size of that. Um, that's now going to go on the outside of the of the workshop. This is the little compartment I built for the solar equipment. So you've got the inverter at the bottom there. That plug is feeding the uh, the fuse board with uh, with the breakers in. At the top there, at the back, you've got. Uh, my Victron um, uh, bus bar. There's, there's, there's no electronics in that. It's just uh, an easy place to uh, um, connect all the cables to. 
that is the main incoming switch off the battery so that's the live incoming feed from the battery uh, positive into the bus the black wire at the top there this one goes around and is on this side at the back is going to the shunt which you can just see there uh, the the red wire is going via the fuse if you can see at the top there to the batteries which are both in uh, a series so you've got two two 12 volt uh, 100 amp hour so 24 volt system sitting here uh, the cable coming out the shunt is feeding the little raspberry pi i've got to tidy up the cabling a little bit um the raspberry pi uh, is monitoring it's got the victron uh, app software on it so that i can um bring up the the specs of the system on, on my computer or on my phone remotely uh the alternative you can buy actually the victron um interface for it which is a few hundred pounds so it's a lot cheaper to use a little pie and i can also uh connect uh, a touch screen to that pie and uh, have a local little monitor which i haven't done yet but i will do so that is the, the little cupboard i've made i'm going to re um wire this at some point and just put in um uh you know far, well not fire rated backboards but it's uh there's no it's not getting hot at the moment so that's i've just got a little cupboard there Okay, so here's the final. It's just got to be tidied up. I've just got to get some clips. Um, give it a quick little tidy up some cables. Um, is the final setup now. So this board is connected to my house. That's the house feed. These two breakers, which were the uh, lighting and uh, plug outlets, are disconnected. This one is just feeding these sockets here and this spur here. This spur does my uh, shutters, my security shutters. So I don't want that off the... Uh, the solar uh, and these are just local these i'm going to disconnect these soon so this this is just house live but this is solar live if you see what i mean um that's the solar fuse board so two rcc uh, rccbs i think that's what you call them uh, lighting and the ring master breaker there to get this to work uh, to get the trips to the RCB to work, um, we have connected uh, neutral and earth together. That earth is not the same as the health earth uh, because we put a brand new stake in. So this incoming earth here, that feed there is going to a stake just outside, um, about a metre and a half long pole, which we have it into the ground. Um, as I say, to get this to trip without the connection between the... Uh, the neutral and earth uh, it doesn't trip the uh, rcb and also interestingly you only get 120 volts uh, uh out 130 volts so you're only seeing half the voltage across the the live and neutral you connect the earth to to uh, neutral and you get 240 volt or 230 volts in this case so i think it's the way the uh, the inverter which i've got turned off at the moment uh works so i think they give 120 volts or something on either either leg it's it's the way the inverters work anyway um i must look up that but i do remember seeing something about that um so we've we've tested it um uh had an electrician in to test it all um everything everything works everything's safe You see the top of the earth stake. I've just got to clip the earth cable in. That's my charge controller. Um, I've wired up some LED lights so you can actually see what's going on. This is just a little LED uh, lighting strip. A little cheap one. Well, that worked. That's a 240 volt one, but uh, uh, I think it's about 10 watts, so it's really, really economical. So that, that's ideal because I was drawing too much power. This is all running off the battery system now. If I haven't got any uh, any sun, also I've changed the I'm blind you, uh, but we had uh, I had fluorescent strip lighting in here. Um, I've changed that to you can see what I've changed it to actually. Um, an LED 
fluorescent replacement. So uh, that was a dual one, and I just put a single one in, and it's brighter. And I think this works. Well, it does work at 24, 24 watts because uh, that's what I can see um, drain, uh, drawn on the system when, I, when I've got it turned on. Uh, and this, as I say, this little lamp at the back, which is uh, 12 pounds, I think, or 15 pounds, really, really cheap, uh, draws about four or five watts. So that's quite good. Um, so I can actually see what's going on and there's the controller at the back there a couple of Daleks in the background keeping an eye on things there's the system and there's a pair of legs 